I wanted to touch upon this because I think that this girl deserves her flowers and I think I've said it before that I've, I've been a bit critical because I felt like maybe her design practice with the whole upcycle thing is a little bit boring and maybe it's not her fault maybe she was a pioneer in that regard she definitely kind of I felt like pioneered taking or she was the one that I maybe saw um on my timeline the most who would take like an ikea bag and turn it into a fucking bikini set messenger bag whatever it may be right she was definitely at the front of it and if you're wondering who i'm talking about i'm talking about nicole McLuhan, and obviously she's doing some great work and, I, and again after a while i kind of got bored of the whole upcycle thing but this girl has been absolutely smashing it when it comes to the fucking footwear collabs at the moment she's got a really sick collab happening very soon or i guess it may be out soon with meryl they look fucking incredible these fucking mock um mockazin type of things whatever they're fucking called what's it called what's the actual shoe model it's called a one trl these are fucking banging but it made me think overall about her flipping run when it comes to footwear collabs and it's been really kind of unprecedented how sick her footwear collabs have been so far over the last what 18 months or so the first one i remember seeing was a vans collab right these incredible slip-ons that she did which are basically inspired by gardening where you had these little slots so these little pockets on the front of the you know on the fucking toe box area where you could put little things in whatever it may be called right um but that you know people were doing their whole gardening thing especially during the pandemic these were really um a big massive fucking thing and i saw them all over the timeline and i fucking love these um in the white and green or the brown colorway absolutely incredible obviously the brown colorway is all kind of reminds me of a car heart chore jacket again loads of hard loads of kind of outdoors handwork you know handsy dads you know dads shed kind of thing type of vibes going on there so those are absolutely sick again 10 out of 10 for that one then the other collab she did most recently that most of you will be aware of is the who is a hockey one ones that she did right and um, what's the actual model of it called the model is called i think the maffa right the maffa something that she did recently with hocker which is really sick because if i'm not mistaken it basically is a three in one shoe with the removable kind of sock thing at the top you can kind of change how it looks you can have it look like a boot you can have it look more like a sneaker by taking the entire thing off or you could put some of the the, the covering over the laces and have it look a bit, a bit like this as it looks down there right you can basically make it a free on one type of shoe so she actually really smashed these and then the other one that she smashed that i thought was really overlooked were these reeboks that she did I think this might have been the first collab that I've seen of her when she kind of popped out after the whole upcycle thing. So, so far, you've got a 10 out of 10 on all of these. And what the cool thing to see here is that I think in days gone by, there was this thing where collaborators or brand people couldn't really go and collaborate with different sportswear brands when it came to shoes. You just had to stick with one or there'd be like a weird non-compete clause. But I think outside of Nike and Adidas, it feels like you can work with anybody. They don't care because I feel like they know, they understand that each thing feeds into the next thing. If she does a good job with Hoka One One, most likely people are going to be open to see her do a collab with Meryl. If she does a good collab with Meryl, most of you like people want to see her do a collab with New Balance. Like it actually helps them. Whereas I think some of these companies, they feel a little bit like they're always competing and it's not like that. Like there's enough, you know, crazy sneakers out there who will buy literally everything this girl puts out because they can see and they trust her taste level. It's the same thing with um the guy that does um I mean Leon Dor, right? people can't fucking trust his taste level that's why when these new balances come out no matter how many of them are of the same silhouette just different colorways people are still going to buy them because they trust his taste level and they like the colorways same thing goes for um, nicole McLuhan. like if she puts out shoes no matter what the brand is that people are going to fucking jump on it even if it was fucking umbra or something even if it was reeboks right the reeboks i think did pretty well from what i can remember when they first came out so it's just cool to see really that's the only thing i wanted to say about it i wanted to really say like it's just cool to see now going forward that the newer generation are able to do more of these collabs and not have the brands go crazy and think that they can only do one thing there's loads of things they can do together and again you know maybe i wouldn't wear these you know daily but i could definitely see these being a good cycling shoe they're definitely a good walking shoe like they look fucking cool i think you know when it comes to the colorway again when it comes to the collab the brand meryl kind of needs a little bit of love and it's kind of coming back into the zeitgeist or it's kind of coming back i you know, like i think it's coming come, coming back into the culture and shit a lot of kids are kind of jumping on Meryl's and stuff and they're doing some really interesting collaborations going forward and whatnot so I really appreciate what she's been doing and again um 
a lot of credit goes to the brand also for giving her a chance and not being scared that she's collaborating with so many different brands out there and thinking that it's going to take away from what they're doing because if anything it feeds into what they're doing so big up mcclough mcluhan for absolutely smashing it and if anything I think it's the correct time as well. She's slowly but surely kind of phasing out all that upcycled shit, leaving everyone else to kind of do it and pick up the scraps because she's kind of been leading the charge and then getting into doing more of this brand consulting work, collaboration work, however it's come about. Even if she had to pay for it, who gives a fuck? The fact that she's doing it and putting a taste level out there is fucking cool and I can't wait to see what else she produces going forward because I definitely trust her when it comes to taste level because these things are fucking banging. And again, I wouldn't even look at Meryl if it wasn't for these cool collabs. And it kind of goes with the to show is a power of collabs right because again i wouldn't really consider meryl as a brand to wear in terms of footwear but when it comes to collabs that's what they're meant to do they're meant to bring new eyes to your brand um they're meant to make people maybe take a double you know a double take at some of the shoes and the product range you have to offer and you would hope that you know she becomes like a a gateway into their whole product range and going forward they put out more interesting things maybe they put out gr colorways of this um one trl and then going forward it could be something that she can kind of continue doing going forward so let's see how it kind of plays out let's see how it plays out but again big up mccall McLuhan, always doing great shit it's great to see it's absolutely great to see